What is there to do in Philadelphia? From the South Street markets to Philly nightlife, Philadelphia is filled with many enticing activities attractive to young people. I'm Jack. I'm Alec. And I'm Justin. And here we are at the Chabad Social and Activity Center of Philadelphia. Among the liveliness exists a popular social center that offers the anchor and embrace of family for young adults. Chabad is inherently extroverted and reaches out to young adults through tabling, holiday celebrations, and weekly dinners. Chabad encourages young adults to build self-confidence through shared community involvement and warmth. Chabad aims to instill wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in young adults, all while inspiring them to develop a respect for family values and a deep meaningful concern for brotherly and sisterly love. Chabad is inclusive and non-judgmental and their programs are open to all. The directors of Chabad are Baruch and Chani Cantor. They live full-time at the Chabad Center with their family, providing support, inspiration, and guidance to the community. So whether it is one-on-one -on -one learning, bread baking, lunch and learn intellectual study sessions, or weekly group discussions, Chabad is a place you can turn to for any reason at all, 24 hours a day. Uh, the food in Chabad is delicious, and I would like to thank Khani for all the hard work she does into making sure that our stomachs are all full by the time we leave Chabad. Well, when I was a student, um, I don't know, it just gave me a sense of community on campus that I didn't have before I came. Chabad and Sinai Scholars have been an important component of my college career because they've given me an opportunity on campus to connect with other Jews and to have conversations that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Chabad is a great place. It's a very welcoming. It has been very welcoming to me. It's a good place. I go there to learn. I have a lot of friends there now. And it's like, um, it's like a home. Honestly, that's the best way I could put it. It's like a home. When I first met Rabbi Cantor, he was standing outside Johnson & Hardwick during orientation with an I Love Jewish Owls t-shirt saying that if we came to Chabad, we can get a t-shirt. And that's what pulled me into Chabad for the very first time. Hope to see you here soon. And so, after 10 full years at Temple University, the Jewish Al alumni wanted to say thanks. And so we started a surprise virtual campaign. Here are just some of our highlights. Don't worry about catching every single moment. Dear Chabad Temple family and friends, as many of you know, the Cantor family joined the Temple University family the 2007-2008 school year. As the summer semester of the 2017-2018 semester came to a close, us young Jewish Al alumni thought it would be the perfect opportunity to say thank you to the Cantors for all they have done for us and all that they continue to do for the current and future generations of Jewish Owls at Temple University. We encourage you to write letters about what Chabad means to you. If you play an instrument, send us a video of you playing something for the Cantors. If you would like to say Mazel Tov for 10 years, record yourself and post the video to our group. 
Are you an artist? We'd love for you to create something special. The Cantors have done so much for us over the years, and we would re really like to make this special for them. And then Rabbi decided to do a raffle, making me think that that was the end of our campaign, but instead showing just how wonderful all our Chabad alumni really are. Take a look at this example. <laughs> Thank you.
And now we present a couple of videos from alumni near and far who wanted to say Mazel Tov on 10 amazing years. Take a look. Yeah, Mishpacha Cantor, congratulations on 10 years. That is a long time. I feel old. Do you feel old? You should feel old. Anyway, thank you for how awesome you guys have been, how much you're changing the world, and what an influence you had on me, my life, and my family's life. A lot of love from Mercy Israel. You're over that way or somewhere east. We love you guys. Keep up the great work. So Mazel Tov Cantors, can't believe it's been 10 years. I remember just yesterday, you were coming with uh, Rabbi Zev for Shabbat for 100. And yeah, here we are now, 10 years later. From the sunny beaches of Los, we're in Atlantic City. It's pretty cool. Not as cool as 10 years though. Hopefully we have 10 more years, and then another 10 after that, with lots of simchas. Just yesterday you were also having a, a bris, a week after our bris, and uh, there's nothing more we can do than hope for your continued success. So brachat slacha from Atlantic City, Las Vegas, and uh, hopefully we'll get more time to catch up. All right, miss you guys. Congratulations on your 10th year anniversary. Cats Jameson and Associates and Marina Cats really appreciate everything you do at Temple. Continue doing a wonderful work. Thank you. Hey everybody, Mazel Tov Rabbi Hani Cantor on 10 years at Temple. Temple has been a very important thing in me and Mary's life. We actually met at Temple Chabad and we had Rabbi Cantor marry us this past June. So we encourage you all to donate to the cause so that they can continue to make a difference in other Jewish kids' lives. Thank you. Mazel Tov. Hey Cantors, just wanted to wish you guys a big Mazel Tov. Uh, 10 years is big. Um, that, that's a lot of work and a lot of matzo ball soup and a lot of mugs. Well, maybe just one mug to put it in. Um, but wanted to wish you a big Mazel Tov and Yashur Koach on this milestone. Um, yeah, looking forward to catching up and visiting your new spaces and all that good stuff. Mazel Tov. Thank you for being you. Hey guys, my name is Ben, and I'm a senior at Temple, and I would just like to take a few minutes to describe what Chabad means to me. So, when I was a freshman, I didn't know anybody. I was like all other freshmen. I was trying to find my niche on campus, trying to make friends. But one day I got a Facebook message from Rabbi Cantor saying that he wanted to meet me, and I went over to Chabad for the Sushi Shabbat. I met he and his wife and their kids, and a whole bunch of other Jewish students on campus. And what I could really take from that experience was a sense of home. It was a home away from home. And that was really one of my first home away from homes when I was in college was going to Chabad. And I would go into the Chabad house and any of my worries I had about life or anything, they would just be left at the door because it was time for Shabbat. It was time to embrace Judaism and the Jewish family. And it, it really... 
you know, they're, they're such wonderful people and I, I always wish them the best for them. They've provided for me and all other Jewish students on campus. I've done the Sinai Scholars with uh, some Torah study and Jewish identity. I did the Israel class and they've been nothing but wonderful to me and to all other students. There are so many great things about Chabad. It is a community. It is a livelihood. But most importantly, I think it's a sense of, of Judaism, which Chabad really does bring into people's lives, at least for me. So if you haven't donated now, open up that checkbook, make a computer donation, do what you can, because there's no other worthy cause and no other family that I would give my time and money to as it would be for the Cantors. They deserve it all. So have a good day, um, and please donate. Mazel Tov for 10 years of Temple Chabad. Uh, I remember the first time that I met Rabbi Cantor. It was actually 11 years ago. Uh, he came to campus to scout things out and came to a Shabbat dinner at the Apai House. Uh, it happened to be my 21st birthday, so he also got his first taste of American uh, college life. Um, thank you for all that you do on campus. Thank you for all you do for the community. Uh, Mazel Tov again. Shalom Aleichem everybody, Gabe Ullman here to say a few words about the great Cantor family in Chabad Temple, starting with their love for Jews and the special value of each student who comes into their house. The love from their house is powerful and real and, and uh, we don't find that enough unfortunately. The teachings that they do in Torah was with patience and always respecting the opinions of others, helping spread mitzvahs to every Jew, remembering the value of every mitzvah of every Jew, and of course being a connection to the Rebbe and moving forward his mission of doing acts of goodness and kindness, serving the spiritual and physical needs of every Jew. Let's give a big thanks for 10 years of service and a blessing for many more until the coming of Mashiach. Let's do our best to do our best with blessings and joy. Hey Rabbi. Dennis and Alan here to pass on a congratulations from the whole Russian Mafia at Temple University. Congratulations on your 10 year anniversary at Chabad of Temple. Thank you so much for the awesome Friday night Shabbat dinners, the Sinai Scholar classes, as well as the fun lit Fabrengans we always had. Hey, we look forward to many more years of great memories and learning at the new Chabad house. Thank you for everything. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm over here in Tel Aviv, shamelessly using a selfie stick. Not as cool as a drone, but next best thing. Um, so, some of you might be wondering, what have I been up to over the last few years? Where have I disappeared to? So I've been very, very busy over here working on a huge construction project. It's uh, called the Tel Aviv Light Rail. And it is the first underground subway in Israel. Something that pretty soon, a few years, you guys will come here on some birthright trip or some other trip. So in the future, your kids will come, your grandkids will come, and they'll all take the subway. We're going to take it for granted. <laughs> but right now, it's all under construction. It's a lot of work. We built already over six miles of tunnels under Tel Aviv and Ramat Gan. We're working on building the underground stations. Let me see if I can just move over here so you can see behind me the construction of one of the stations right here. As you can see, we're working in very tight conditions in the middle of the road. It's very complicated. But uh, recently I was in Philadelphia and was also impressed by another construction project. Rabbi Cantor building his new community center. And this is exactly why you need to donate money to Chabad, get your friends to donate money, and um, because Rabbi Cantor is building huge things. Uh, new community center, new communities that are going to come out of that center. Uh, for us, you know, I remember when Rabbi Cantor came to the campus, I was uh, in, what, the second year of college, sophomore year, and that completely changed the whole dynamic of the Jewish life. We had a place to go for Shabbat dinner, we had a place to go for Shabbat lunch. Um, we had every holiday covered, we had, Jew we had you know, events, we had people to meet, you know, kosher food, so many things. 
And take into account that Rabbi Cantor is from Australia. He moved to the other side of the world to provide us with a Jewish community over there. So um, it's definitely a worthwhile cause and something they will be happy to see that after investing all their money and every, all their resources into building a new community center, they're going to get an extra $18,000 to make it even better. So tell your friends and donate yourself. And um, today I'm going to take you on a special surprise, like I mentioned before. I will take you into a VIP behind the scenes look at the Tel Aviv subway tunnels and maybe one of the stations. But I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to post the other video in the comments below. And um, so I'll see you there. Hi, my name is Lottie. Um, it's a really big deal that the Cantors are celebrating their 10th year um, as Temple's Chabad. Um, I met the Cantors about eight years ago, right after I did um, a winter break trip through Snorkel and Study, which is a, a Chabad program. And I met them that winter break. Um, I was about 18. I wasn't in college at that time, but it was my first um Chabad on campus experience um at Temple Chabad it was really fun it was really exciting um it felt like a rite of passage into adulthood almost and I really enjoyed it it was a really big Shabbos it's right after winter break every they had like 80 people in their tiny tiny um duplex I don't know how they pulled it off or a house or whatever um and yeah, and I just wanted to make this video just to say that Mazel Tov, it's a really big deal. It's really exciting. Um, and I hope everyone um, is able to contribute in some way to raise the $18,000 that they really need um, to help start something new, to help um, them with um, them trying to start their new house and trying to get that finished. And that's also really exciting. Um, and yeah, and it's just really important that they're able to continue with the work that they do because they do a really great job and I'm very blessed to know them and I'm sure everyone else is. And, um, there's going to be a raffle from what I was told. Um, and I started this business venture of sorts. Um, so, um, I'm making tickles now. I'm making head wraps, these things right here. This is actually one that I made. So I'm going to put one into the raffle. Um, for the auction, I mean, not the raffle, the auction. Um, so you could potentially win that. So I just want to see Mazel Tov again to the Cantors. And uh, it's really exciting. And Hatzlech uh, to them. And they should continue to uh, be blessed and um, have continued success. Hello. Uh, I want to wish a mazel tov to the Cantors for being on Temple's campus for 10 years. Um, Chabad at Temple was definitely one of my first um, experiences um, um, in terms of how important community is. Uh, and I wish I cherished it more back then, but, you know, I uh, definitely think that it's something that's so important for Jews on campus to to have that. Um, I also want to say that, uh, you know, over the last 10 years, there's only a handful of things that I remember, like, very vividly and clearly, and on that list is, uh, Hani's salad that had the strawberries and mango in it, and it was quite possibly, like, one of my favorite things about Habat on Temple. Um, it, it was, it was my favorite thing, so, uh. So Mazel Tov to you guys, here's to at least 10 more years. Hi everyone, I want to wish a huge Mazel Tov to the Cantor family on 10 years of being the Chabad family at Temple University. They were a major factor in my decision to come to Temple in the first place and help me stay religious on campus. I can count on them for anything and even though I'm not a student anymore, I know they always have my back. 
One of my favorite memories from over the years was when we used to sing Shabbat songs at the Shabbos table. So I made a little compilation video of some of my favorites. Take a listen, see if you recognize any of them. Congrats again! <laughs> Thank you guys for always being there for us and supporting us and being our home away from home all these years. And despite being out all the way out here in California, we know that we still have somewhere to come back to and a home to go to in Philadelphia. To many, many more years. Mazal My dear Baruch Cantor, thank you for everything you've done in our community for the past 10 years. I can't believe it's been that long since we first met around Rosh Hashanah time 10 years ago. Uh, thank you every, for everything that you do for patients at the hospital, for the students on campus, and for all your family and friends. Congratulations, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. And so concludes our highlight reel from our month-long campaign. It's the least we could do for a family that has and continues to do so much for us. To Rabbi, for your words of wisdom and amazing programming, 
to Chani for your delicious meals and guidance, to Mendel, Mushka, Liba, Levy, and Schneer for your smiles and endless laughter. Thank you. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for 10 amazing years. May Chabad Temple continue to grow and expand under your family's watch. Thank you so much. And now, Cancer family, we'd like to present you with a small token of our appreciation. We present you with this check for $8,000 that we've already collected as a thank you for 10 incredible years. And now, we challenge you to open up the campaign publicly and raise the difference to hit the goal we set out to reach. A big thank you to all the individuals and businesses who made this possible. We couldn't have done it without you. Mazel tov, Cancer family. Thank you for all that you've done. Here's to the next 10 years. We can't wait to see how this organization grows and prospers. We love you, Cancer family. Thank you for all that you've done.